So we're gonna be doing a tension back tie or just a back tie um, on trees. So we're pretending that this tree, we don't feel comfortable with it as our main or belay anchor. And so we're going to do a back tie to this other tree, lower towards the base of the tree so that it, it, it holds better, there's less um, leverage on that anchor point. And we're gonna back tie to this tree so that it's more substantial, more bomb proof. So what we do is we do two interlocking wrap three pull twos. So we'll do our first wrap three pull two, kind of hold it open a little bit, feed the other one through it so that they're interlocking. So we have one facing forward and one facing back towards our other tree. So this will be where we connect our system into. Uh, we could have a clutch with some rope for our main or our belay going in that direction. We want to take and find another tree that's going to be strong enough for our tension back tie directly in line with our operation. So this tree might be right near the edge of a cliff. Um, it might be in an ideal location. So um, we'll use this, but we don't trust it as our primary anchor. So we're going to do our tension back tie. So if this was a smaller diameter tree, we could tension it just enough where we see it to start to bend backwards. This one's not going to do that because it's a lot thicker. But so now we've got our uh, two wrap three pull twos interlocked and tied off. We can now go back to our our other anchor tree. So we can do a wrap three pull two closer to the base of this other tree. And now that we've tied that and inspected it, everything's good. We'll take our rope and now we can either anchor it back on this side or we can anchor it on the, the tree over there. So if we, if we tied a knot and had it terminate over there, we could make a three to one or we could anchor it back here and make a four to one. So that's going to be our more optimal use. So we tie a figure eight on a bite, clip it in, clip it into our wrap three pull two, rotate it around. I'm going to flip this over. Rotate it around so that we have the, the basket side of our carabiner facing towards our other anchor. So now we can take the rope, make a loop through. Orient them nice. Take our other carabiner and we'll clip it in. So both baskets are facing each other. And then we'll just feed this rope out. Clip it in, rotate it back. Okay, now we can take all the slack out. Make sure the ropes aren't twisted. Okay, there's no twist in the rope. And now would come a point where you would get multiple people and you would pull tight on this rope. Pull it as much as you can. So one or two people are pulling in this direction and you can take the same strand, follow it back, and pull towards this anchor point with this strand. So multiple people pulling on that. Once you get it tensioned really tight, you take it, capture your progress, take the rope, pull it through itself, creating a slip half hitch. Pull that nice and tight so that you capture all your progress. And then you can do another half hitch, cinching it up nice and tight. So then now we can take the stretch out of the rope by doing a vector pull. Take the rope, vector pull it nice and tight. Now you can see it's really saggy. We can take all that stretch out and it's gonna hold a lot tighter. So then once again, get a group of guys, get a group of people to pull on this in both directions. Pull all that slack out. Get that nice and bowstring tight. If this was a smaller tree, you might see it start to bend back just slightly and then capture your progress. So you got a slip half hitch and then another half hitch 
and that's called dogging it off. Cinch that nice and tight. So now you've taken a marginal anchor and made it more of a bomb proof anchor. If somehow this rope, this tree were to fail, it wouldn't matter because the webbing is interlocked and it's holding onto itself. So this tree could still fail and we'd still have a strong anchor. Back to that other tree, we could raise this up and create it more advantageous for, for a high directional going over an edge. Um, but that's how you tie a tension back tie or a back tie. Two interlocking wrap three pull twos, one facing forward for your system, one facing back towards your other tree, wrap three pull two on the other tree, and then you take two carabiners and a section of rope, create basically a, a non-working four to one mechanical advantage, tension it, dog it off, and you're good to go.